Uh, you know, actually, we're having a rainy April day in Oklahoma, and hopefully it's pitting out of the brush fires in the western part of the state. I wonder if my hometown is still there. Anyway, so we went from we went down 20 degrees in 24 hours. How are you doing? Such as? I don't Um, sure. Why not? Uh, I think it, I, I think, I, no, I, I think it requires a third grade education, but maybe you can get a waiver. I think you should try it and also film it. I think so. Absolutely. Now I've got McGann. Oh, I just went in the office a little bit this morning, made some money, and otherwise, otherwise, I'm just relaxing. I did get a couple of pieces, but nothing that would interest you in the slightest. So, you know, uh, you're not you're not interested in them. I know you're not. Because I knew you. Well, funny that you should mention that, but that's exactly what they are. Well, I've got a, I've got that little gold Sigma from the early '60s, the Calatrava, and basically the same brand. I've got a uh, Sigma, nice clean. Yeah, I like. Well, I'll get to that in a second. I also like the fact that the date is in red. Kind of an old. Right? I don't know. I've only had it like a couple hours, so I guess I could. Well, I guess I could probably take a look at it. And just simply another one with it. And again, I, you know, I had to say what attracts me is the dials as much as anything else. It's also a Sigma. Sigma. It's a Sigma. And then finally, a little, a little gold Esca Calatrava. No, it's another, it's a Sigma. Sigma. And then a uh, little Esca, Calatrava. Nope, solid gold. Well, all three cost me $1,000, so cheap thrills. Possibly, yeah. So that's that's Uber Oki advanced trick is if it's not a well known brand, always buy it for scrap value. So, so no, all three for a thousand dollars. Ah, they're still doing. I th they're still making stuff, but I think re these days it's more medical equipment like like monitors and everything to wear. Oh, nice, oh. And you can tell it's Swiss because, <laughs> you can tell it's Swiss because they damn sure tell you on the back. Okay, Neil, $2 super chat. Nobody can hear this. $2 super chat, no one can hear this.
That means they can't hear what we're saying. Fuck. I don't believe this. Okay, guys, if you can if you can hear me, type one. No audio from Archie. You can hear me, but can't you, Clive? Yeah, I can hear Archie just fine. Oh, they can hear you now. No, no, okay. Gaster, I said. Okay, if you can hear Archie, okay, we got it. If you can hear Archie, type two. Oh, I just heard Archie. Just got AC3 okay. on just now. Rich Buddy, okay. Logos, Perfect. Nelson, ACP, Der Stifel. Are, okay. We oh, get you. Der Stifel on. I want to talk to him. He's, You know what he's done, don't you? No, what's he he's done? He's gone and bought himself a Grand Seiko. Oh, thank a God. A grand mistake. A grand oh. mistake from... All right. He's made a grand mistake. He's bought a quartz one as well. Uh, okay. I don't know why he's done that, to be honest with you. I think someone may have set a bad example. Crap. Do you mind I'm if I say this? You know, on my, my Hoya... Monaco, it's a real bitch having the crown on the wrong side. You know that? Can right. I just make that observation? Right. Because it was on the wrong side, on the left-hand side of the original. Yeah, because it's, no. it's really What is Mr. Stifle's real name? Crap. Uh, I don't really know. Does it matter? Well, if we want to send him an email or a text with the logon information, it kind of does. Or I can mm. just start sending them at random and hoping I hit the right person eventually. Well, I just, you're just 1 800 lawyer, aren't you? I wish I was, no. Okay, Durr, um, seriously, I, I'm okay. Durr, uh, send, send Archie uh, an email saying, hey, okay. Let's see. What's Lover and Why? Spring Chicken. You guys know answer my... Okay, what do we think of Sin Watches? Spring Chicken said, you guys know answer my super chat yesterday. Oh, that, well, in, any super chats we owe, please let me know now and we will we will honor them, okay? So please, just tell us. We... Fuck. Uh, this what, is, this is, what, what do you think of Zen Watches? Zin Watches... Uh, um, i got to be completely honest with you. they got a great Navi timer. You know they bought the rights to the original Navi timer? From, That's from, the only from one Brighton. when Brightling went broke, yeah. Um, I think realistically they're okay. I wouldn't get too excited and I wouldn't certainly wouldn't pay retail for one. That Navi timer no, they make is probably the best one in their range. Likewise, I mean, yeah. If you can, if you can find one secondhand, you can find a good price on one. Why not? Grab it, pull I, the trigger. Yeah, it's like basically. How would, I'd say it's a little bit above Tiso, wouldn't you? Oh yeah, that's probably that's probably a fair thing to say. Yeah, just a little bit above Tiso, not terribly much above, but yeah. Yeah. Under tag Hoya, under tag Hoya. No. Tag Hoyer has got some great things. Have you seen that the amazing things they've got? Uh, they got uh, the Monaco V4. That's like a super complicated watch. Archie, who's got a real Hoyer? You do. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry, that's completely unfair. Can I re can I restate that? Yes. Let me let me rephrase the question, Archie. Sure, sure. Who has two real Hoyers? Yeah. I okay. mean, all right. Um. Yeah. There. Yeah. You know, I mean, 
in another watch channel, I mean, pitting that movement in your watch and then mm -hmm. charging and charging what five or six thousand dollars? Six thousand dollars. That's a zen, if you ask me. And, you zen. know, Hoya was involved in the first, <clears throat> it's basically the first automatic, one of the first automatic chronographs. Well, it okay. It, you have to be careful about how you define it. Uh, Zenith announced it first with the El Primero. But that was Seiko, only in a that was only in a trade publication. Right. Seiko it released really... it first. Seiko released it first, but it was only uh, for the homeboys in Japan, so no one really knew about it outside uh, outside of Godzilla Land. And but Japanese in, does, where, it, does it? Well, that's why I said you have to be careful how you define it. If you can say first, mm. I mean, you have to say first. I, I think Hoyer mm. reduced I mean, produced theirs first globally. I think people became mm. aware, most people became aware of it. Now, Lovegos mm -hmm. also says then equals overpriced seventy seven fifties. Yeah, but about have right. Right. You know. Let me see. Hey, Let me see if I can. It's your channel, Clive. You tell me what you want to do. It's your show. All it's right. your show. You can do whatever you want. All right. Why is that? Come on. Do, 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 do. I'm going to put the Hoya on. Speaking of the Hoya, oh. I need some Hoya love. Hey. I... Fag Hoya I'm money. Put my Hoya. Okay. Richard Greenberg, seven dollars or six ninety nine Canadian super chat. How bad is the depreciation for a new Grand Seiko snowflake? Not that bad. Check it out on Chrono Twenty Four. They're not terrible. I reckon the snowflake is actually a great model. Snowflake is a great model. That's a fantastic watch. I'd seriously consider getting one. How bad is the depreciation? Look, you go into Seiko. It's not Rolex. It's not yeah. Rolex. I think I owe someone a drink from yesterday. I think I may not have had another drink, so I'm just going to have one now just in case I owed a drink to anyone. No, none, none says, I'm so pissed that the 14060M are increasing by the day. None. Shit, I'm Clivers. Not. Clivers, I got, I, got, I, got, I got a problem here. Look at this, Clivers. Look at this. Look at this, Clivers. No more's coming out, Clive. What does that mean? It means the bottle's empty. You get every drop out. You know, if you break the bottle and then lick the inside of it, that might help. No, I actually, I, I do the butt flock. I, I, I rinse it with soda water and drink it. Okay. Now, um, okay. Finish your okay. None, none is asking. Finish your thought. Should I wait until the, to buy the one hundred four six zero M when the hysteria is over? I don't think the hysteria is over. I, I think that horse has left the. Why is the hysteria for? It? Is the hysteria over the one? <laughs> so we're talking Explorer one thirty six mil. What's the hysteria? I don't no, understand no, no, the hysteria. No, 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 no. One four zero six zero M. No date sub pre ceramic. Sorry, I was thinking Explorer. Sorry, you were thinking hey, that baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, look, that baby is never going to come back again. They are. Uh, that horse just, is left. It's done. It's you know, you yeah, yeah. It's, you, uh, it's, you you have to climb. You you generally the only time you can get on the rocket is when it's still on the launch pad. Once it leaves the launch pad, it's hard. I just got um, a good friend of mine who's in Japan at the moment. He says there is no subs anywhere. He's gone to hundreds of watch stores. No new subs available. Vintage, yes, very high prices, but no new subs in any of the Rolex, any ADs, no new subs available, okay? Oh, you need to you pay a premium. Um, what do you think I should wear? You think I should wear the Uni Universal Genève Compacts or you think I should wear the Submariner Date? You know, Universal Geneve Compacts because I'm wearing 
We're going to be Chrono Brothers today. Uh, no, actually. No. No, we're going to be you Chrono could, Brothers. You could wear the Amiga, the real no. Moonwatch. No, 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 no. You forget. Okay. You've got... You've got the 1861 Omega. Mm -hmm. I've got the 321 Omega. Yeah. You've got, you've got the Tag Hoyer chronograph. I have the Hoyer chronograph. Yeah, I understand. That's the yours is of course manual wind, of course. Yes. Because 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 mine was yep. the. They had a series. They had an Ortavia, a Carrera, and a Monaco. They came out at the same time as the first automatic. Um, by the way, when yours came out, this one was already vintage. I'm sorry. When the one yours shamelessly copies and rips off, when the original mm -hmm. one came out, this yours one was, was already vintage. Yes. Right. Yes. I, I, yeah, anyway. And, yeah, I, I'll just, I don't have an honor chronograph. I'll just have to make do with my Valjeu 22 guard threat. Tell shot. me this, Clovis. Um, the sub market's gone crazy. There's not, it's never coming back. What do you think? <laughs> well, no, it, I, I think the best homage to the sub would be the, the Tudor Black Bay. That's the best homage to the sub. Um, or, or actually, mm -hmm. the best you know. I think the you know. I think the best homage to the sub would be. What's that, Clivers? The sub. Vintage. I love that sub of yours. That's just. That's the one you swapped your day date for. Yep. I and mean, that was a very. Are you, do you regret that swap now? Just asking you, do you regret it, or how do you feel about it? No, no. I, well, no. Because, well, you see, in a way, the, sub, the funny that, thing that is, day, if you would have bought the sub, if you would have bought the sub when you bought the day day, you would have got a lot cheaper. Agreed. Oh yeah, totally. But on the other but, hand, on the other hand, having a link pit in the sub led me to the watch dealer that led me to the Omega chronograph. So. You know, I can't really complain. So, all in all, I still think I came out money ahead. Yes. Yep. I'm actually yeah. thinking of putting my watches in the safe this week, Clive. That's probably a good idea. What should I keep out? Give me some. Give me some suggestions. So, I need to keep the Monaco out for certain reasons. Okay. Flipping. Um, what? What I else think, would you keep out? I think I. I think may, hopefully you should leave the Polar Explorer out. Ah. Okay. Hmm. I think. Well, I, actually, actually, I think you should leave them all out except the uh, Patek, and hope like hell that you've uh, that you get burgled and that your homeowner's insurance kicks in. Here's hey, guess who's joining us? Jen, hey, how are you? Hey, how are you? I'm good. How are you? What have you been buying? Tell me this. What's going on? What are you? What have you done? I'm buying anything? I've been busy, but I I do have a purchase coming up. It's not a hundred percent confirmed, but you're but, getting a paddock. Uh, not quite. Uh, but I am getting something something that I've wanted for a while. So stay Expensive? tuned. Expensive? Mega uh, money? Not mega money, but enough to enough to hurt the average person. It hurts, so, okay. It hurts. So does it, it hurt you, but? Does it hurt you, but? You're not the average person. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. So, uh, Jin, I wanted to ask you, I made my video yesterday my humble watch collection now they were just sleeping on the couch with me what should i be putting away i'm gonna gonna keep i'm gonna put them away in the safe this week what should i be keeping out 
I got to um, keep the Monaco out for certain reasons. I'd, here's my here's here's my thought. I think mm -hmm. I think he should leave everything out except the Patek, leave his door open, reveal his address mm -hmm. on the live stream, and then go for a nice long walk or go to a drive to drive to Melbourne and back. I don't I don't want the Patek to go. I love my Patek. You understand that? That's, it, that's, that's why the Patek should stay in the safe. Everything else well, should just be out, and, and preferably put them by an open window. I love my watches, Clive. I do love my new. I, I love everything about my watches. Like, I love my IWC. I love well, my Breguet. Like, well, it's kind of like how everyone loves their children. Mm. No matter how unintelligent or ugly they may be, everyone loves their kids. I understand that. Mm. You were so tell me this. You didn't want to put the Monaco into the safe. Correct. Well, that's good because the safe, the safe deposit box is for value. Doesn't want it. That's for value. Not for not for. I can see him. I can see him. I can see it throwing in. I keep spitting it out like. Yes. Keep flinging it back at him. I gotta keep three watches out. What would you be keeping out? Tell me this. Um, world time. World time. You'd keep it out. Okay. Yeah. World time. Give me three. Monaco. World time. What else? You have to enjoy it before you go to prison. Otherwise, it's just gonna sit there in the, and and you're not gonna be able to see it before you're. Although I'm not sure whether you should. No, have no, it. no, 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 no. Hang on a minute there. I'm going to a court case this week i am going to court this week the 24th however i got something called a defense a defense have you heard of that clive a defense so uh, it's yeah. actually not a trial it's not a trial it's just a rollover this week it's just a rollover you mean like an insanity defense which you no, no, I'm not pleading anything. You, I'm asking. Which, I'm asking oh. for discovery, Clive. In your words, I'm asking for discovery this week. Okay, um, can't find you. Five dollars Australian super chat. What yeah. does Jen do for a crust? Yeah, I want to know that too. What do you do for a crust? You deliver pizzas, don't awesome. you, or Chinese food? I yes, I do that. That's only a part-time job. My full-time job is I make bagel sport watches for. Um, for all the punters out there. Well, no, actually, actually, he works for an Asian restaurant. He has one of the most critical and... No, well, I'm not going to do control. it. That's, no, no. No, never mind. Let's. I'm just going to back away from that statement. That's, that's, that'd be going too far. Cat catcher. But, you know, so let's just, let's just ignore that. So, no, actually, actually, Ving is a licensed pilot. I am. Right? Somehow. Ving, 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 I want to, that's, this could work out great, Clive. Ving, I'm looking at getting into a different career. I want to repossess jet planes. You want to repossess jet planes? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get a job. I want to get a job repossess. If you can, you know how to fly the fucking things. I'll, I'll be the standover man. You just be the, the small Asian guy who jumps on and fires the bastard up. And then, uh, are you going to come with me? Of course. I'm not going to stay behind with these nasty people. I, I'm going to, we're going to. I think there might be some weight issues with uh, taking off. No, apparently there's a guy, there's a guy called Sage Povich. He does it. He drives, he's, he's bigger than me. He jumps oh. around in a Bentley. And uh, I think this could be perfect. Me and you would be perfect. I'll be the co-pilot. How hard can it be? I can drive an automatic. How hard can it be? All you do is you you you, you pull that lever down and, and you steer. I mean, and it goes up and down. I mean, how hard can that really be? I I I think the hard part for you will not be the flying, but the jar, the landing. No going to work <laughs> so, and having so, a jar. So, Jin, we could we could repossess jets. You can fly Lear, and apparently the Lear jets are very popular, and the Gulf Streams. You can fly those. Look, <laughs> if you can't, I'll send you over the latest flight simulator. Just, 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 just play that for a couple of days, and we'll be fine. Sure, I'll just play. You've got, Windows 90, you've got Windows ninety eight installed, right? 
Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. McGaster is asking, Ving, have you tried the Louisiana Purchase? I don't know. Oh, we don't answer questions for free, do we? What are we, a charity? Oh, right. Okay. Ooh, fuck, Clyde, what are you well, doing to me? You're drinking, well, aren't you drinking for free or what? No, that, that was one from yesterday. That was a residual. You heard of a residual? Ah. Uh, I'm, no, I'm, I'm just that, texting. I, I thought you mean what's left over on your uh, bracelet after the lady boy leaves? Is that residual or? Oh, I'm just going to send him now. I'm, I'm going to send him an invite now. I've got his email address, you know, for. Your um, you know what Durst Stiefel's done, Jin? <laughs> he's bought a fucking. He's bought a fucking. He has bought a fucking. Um, he's bought a fucking Grand Seiko Quartz. You were thinking of doing that. Yeah, but he's yep. actually done it. I don't think he. I don't think he got a discount. You understand? He bought it new. Yeah, I want you to give Ooh. him a hard time about it if you don't mind. Uh, he said, to "Join us a bit later." I can't. Now, as for you, Jim, you're buying that five one nine six you were talking about, weren't you? No, 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 I'm not buying a 5196. I can say I'm but, definitely not buying a 5196. You, I thought you liked the okay. 5196. We I, I love the 5196. I just don't really feel like spending 20000 on a... You can get it for 13 second secondhand. Secondhand 13, uh, super, Jin. Chat. Super, super chat, chat, Richard Greenberg. When Archie is in prison, what watch will he give to his new husband? I can tell you now, I'm not wearing any watches inside. I was talking to my friend from After Prison Show. Right. And uh, you're not allowed oh. to take luxury watches in. Hey, we've got Mark. Mark, how are you? Well, well hello, hey, gentlemen. Mark. Mark! Mark! Are you Mark, I wanna... Mark, I'm actually quite angry at you. I want to tell you something. You are you think... fucking stupid. Why, why is it that the first thing you say to me every time I come on your channel now is, Mark, I'm fucking angry at you, you asshole. How could you have traded the Porsche Macan for a fucking Ford Exploder? Jin, well, you tell me what you think. Is he nuts or is he insane? Here's the thing. I'm a, I'm a dog trainer and I need to be able to haul bales of hay, crates, slobbering Great Danes. Allow me to tell you about the time that I was transporting a 125-pound Bernice Mountain Dog who was spewing pus from a giant wound in his side we, we did we did hear that story we did hear that story okay but i'm saying to you you You're said you would never buy new you bought the ford new you said cheap. you'd always buy it was cheap it was cheap and i haggled a tremendous deal I've been, been but done. you had a porsche a porsche do you understand what a porsche is I do. They still make them you know this there's, there's this factory in stuttgart that still makes them and, and i can always <laughs> buy it bless you I'm just very angry about that. The only thing that's more stupid than you trading your Porsche for a fucking Ford Exploder is I had this guy I was giving consultancy services to. Yeah. He had an Explorer 2, 42 mil. Mm. He got it put on a rubber B orange strap and he threw the bracelet away, thinking, oh, I'll just get it. Oh, can you get what? <laughs> that's yeah. exactly it. What? I'd never heard anything so stupid in my life. That's, that's a custom strap. That's a that's twenty-one a, mil fitting. That's a case of mental retardation. That's sellable on eBay for like two thousand dollars. Listen, I'd like. That's what I said to him. Yeah. What What is stupider, my trading a Porsche for a Ford Exploder, or you eating an entire bucket of Kentucky Fried Chicken on demand? How do those two things rank? Because my cholesterol is fine. Actually, I'm going to the doctor. Let me tell you something. On Monday, I am going to the doctor. I've got a South African doctor I'm seeing because he doesn't give me shit about weight loss and I don't want to go see some Y gen turd you understand I don't want to see some Y gen turd who's just graduated I'm seeing my doctor on Monday and I'm getting Abe and Lich are going to be removed can uh, you know can, maybe Mark maybe Mark can get a good referral for down there in Australia hey Mark do you by the way fist do you know any uh, you know any good vets in Australia 
I do. Um, you, what we need is a cattle doctor. Cattle doctor. Oh. So anyhow, it's coming off. I'm, I'm getting it done this week, and then I'm going to court on Tuesday. I was going to make it after, and I thought, fuck this. Let's go and see the doctor on Monday. I got caught on Tuesday. That's fine. And then, um, so hopefully then we can set a trial date and then I can move on with my life. Well, I have, I have questions. I'll be very delicate in, in my questions, but the first one sure, I have is- ask anything you want. Yeah. Are, are, you getting, are you getting your moles removed like one at a time? Because you're going to be off, you're going to be off tilt. You're going to be tilted to one direction uh, or the other. Doing both I have no idea. I was hoping you could do a two for one deal. The combo meal deal? Combo meal deal. And what watch should I wear when he's getting sliced off? What watch should I wear for moral support? That's what I want to ask you. What watch should I wear? You know, I, when I go to a doctor, I always like to wear a watch I can hold and tense and script. So I don't really want to take the paddock because the it's, it's precious metal. You need the dive what? watch? The, listen, my dive secret watch. is... What would you take? The dive watch because you can play with the bezel. Oh, okay. Would you take the Tudor or the uh, Breitling? Brightling, you're a Brightling man. Of course, you take the Brightling. Yes, but I'm wearing a Tudor. Pelagos, I love it, man. Yeah. Well, I wore a G-Shock for a whole hey. week. Okay. The other thing is, I, I want to give you just a little bit of. I want to. I want to give you a feel good. Like I know you're feeling obese yeah. right now, but you're going to lose like three kilos right after that surgery. <laughs> Actually, I had a very interesting question was thrown at me yesterday. They said to me, I thought it was quite insulting. Would you trade your paddock for fitness? Who asked you that? I don't know. I just thought, fuck, I never thought about it before. The doctor? What would you do? Would you swap your fitness for a paddock? Would you swap your paddock for, like, an endless supply of... Do you have any idea what nasty things well, I had to do to middle-aged... Is that, is that really middle-aged to 65-year-old women? To get that paddock? Do you have any idea what I had to do? Would you sell your soul and your paddock for an endless supply of... Uh, oh, I've already you? sold the soul. The soul went. The soul's gone late years that's, ago. That's the How do you think I got nine watches? How do you think I got nine watches, big boy? Yeah, because you, you started think that lying. Was, you think that's... Shitters <laughs> might have nothing to do with it. <laughs> oh, that's another thing. You're going to be mad at me about the Porsche. In the meantime, you bought a tag. Right, right. Yeah, 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 you're right. You're right. I can't, I can't deny it. So look, just so you know, every time I come on and you start, you start pounding me with that Ford, I'm just gonna say Tag Heuer and Tiso. Those are like, what you know. I gotta tell you the truth, Mark. You know, you know that Tag Monaco was the first, world's first automatic. World's first uh, shitter. Actually, Mark, let me clarify. What would you rather him pound you with when you first come on the show? <laughs> Listen, so, um, you, you know. Is a Salita uh, movement that bad? Is a Salita movement that bad? It could be worse. No, a Salita movement is not bad in a two or $300 micro brand watch. And, 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 but it is awful in a $5,000 watch. Just unforgivably awful. IWC is using Salita movements now. Yes, well, well when... When you have the horns removed, I assume you're going to want an actual lidocaine injection rather than water, you know, but they, they look alike. Mm -hmm. I don't know what well, I should I do, Matt. I think Don would talk about the regulation if he were on. He would say, at least the IWCs are regulated, you know, and I mean, they build their perpetual calendar chronographs on, uh, on, a, on a 7750 base movement, but they take out like half the parts. Not like the Tag Heuer where they just stamp a badge on it and um, sell it for five grand. With a Salita movement. They've yeah. tried to put Geneva stripes on the back, but you know. Look, they tried to make champagne edges. You know, the nicest thing that we can say about the Salita movement is, well, at least it's not a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my we work my people work very hard to make those movements. Ben, where you live? Mm -hmm. Where you live right now? <laughs> where you um, living, eh? I'm in Mississippi right now. All right, there you go. Old what Miss are you doing in Mississippi? Are you flying in Mississippi? No. No, I don't are fly. Working, are you working for a nasty regional airline? Fuck. Yeah, no. 
I'm not. I wish I was flying. Look, You're not flying freight, are you? Look, he's making America great again. We're making a we're American. We're making America great the same way we do every, every other unpleasant task. We import foreigners. Yeah. Are we? We're not building a railroad these days. I thought you're building a wall, aren't you? We don't have railroads in Mississippi yet, so somebody's got to come and do it. Do you have indoor well, plumbing? They had, they had them for a while, but they were all kind of burned there during a period we don't really like to talk about. We're talking about indoor plumbing? So, I wanted to ask railroad. you, Clark, now, now, Mark, can you turn that fucking light off above you? It really, turn it on or, yeah. Thank you. Mark, um, I wanted to say to you, that was a fucking disgusting mistake to get rid of your Porsche for a Ford. You which are out worse? of your fucking which, mind. Which, which is the worst mistake, my Ford or your Salita movement? Which do you think ranks worse? Your Ford, your Ford, your Ford. Because the, 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 the Monaco is still a cool thing, you know? Yeah. The Ford okay. will never be cool. Well, mm, okay, Der Stiefel. Oh, okay. Der Stiefel. What's going on? Speaking, speaking of mistakes this week, what the fuck were you doing paying retail for a Grand Seiko? I'm sorry, I can't handle that. I didn't pay full retail. I got over a 20% discount. That's not enough on a Grand Seiko. Yeah, well, Did I you get it with box and papers? Dear Steve Fault, no. The correct answer is you. I learned it from watching you. <laughs> right. Thanks for the great advice there, Ponta. What happened? Why did you? How much was it? How, how much was this watch? Well, I got uh, it was it was under two grand, but it was more than fifteen hundred. So, but not what size is it? What size is it? It's a uh, thirty-seven mil. So I didn't want to spend. I didn't want to go crazy on, on buying like a a quartz beater. So Were they cheaper well, on Joma? Did Joma's shops have them at all? Joma doesn't even sell them. So it's it's kind of hard to find like a gray market uh, Grand Seiko dealer, um, unless you kind of want to go. I really love the GMT Grand Seiko in the peacock green. Yeah, see, I just, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on one. That's all. So I'm like, if I was gonna no. get one, I was gonna get one for for you know low money because I didn't want to spend a lot of money on a, on a Seiko product. You know what I mean? So. How is the collection going now? What do you got? Quick, quick rundown. What do you got? What do I have? I want to hear your top five watches. Give me your top five. Jet. Top five wrist watches. Sorry. Okay, my Super top jet. five wrist watches. None. <laughs> Stiffless Grand Mistake. <laughs> nice, nice. Wait, if you're going to talk crap about a watch, you might as well at least be able to say that you've owned it before you do so, correct? I mean, unless you're going to lose money on it, but... You don't need to own a Salita to know it's a piece of crap. That's right. So, uh, my top five watches would probably be um, my Explorer 2 Polar, um, my Man on the Moon, probably my Breitling, uh, yep. The Avenger. Yeah. Yeah. And um, probably, uh, let's see, my Day Just. Yep. And one more for fifth. And then I guess if I had to go after that, it would probably either be um, that cheap uh, Tag Warrior Batman or this Grand Seiko. Oh, that's. Okay. Clyde, what's your top five? Give me your top five. Me? Yeah, your top five. What's your top five watches? Jeez. Well, number one would have to be that fucking three, two, one you stole off the bitch. Oh, uh, yeah. And she's, a, and she's a bitch because she didn't sell it to me first. Well, they wanted money up front, not uh, 40 pesos like every three months. So tell me, your three, two, one would be your number one? What's number two? Mm. Probably your nipple dial GMT. Yeah, I think so. Number three would probably have to be your sea dweller, pre-ceramic sea dweller. Number four would have to be 
Um, number four would have to be your uh, your sub date, and number five would number five be in your case? I reckon your number five would have to be your um, reverso. Yeah, that's super cool. What do you reckon? Well. I'd, I'd replace the sea dweller, the pre ceramic sea dweller, with a 10460 Mark Goldberg 10 ES special uh, no date sub pre ceramic. Glad I forgot mm. you had the, I forgot you had a sea dweller. Yes, he does. Oh, he's do. a very lucky man. And he's got a no date sub. I've got one as well. We're like, we're like, I know. We're, we're sea dweller buddies. And no date sub buddies. And, and Jin, what's your top five? Give me your top five. Quick rundown. Quick top five. What's your top five watches? Uh, I, I literally have. Um, well, I have I have the mystery watch. Going Dr. In. Bruce, two do sorry, super chat from Dr. Bruce. Number six. There is no number six. <laughs> uh, is that another one of his uh, conspiracy theories? What's your top watches, Jin? Quick, 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 quick. We have um, Explore One. Um, yep. And uh, uh, Dig Just. Yep. A bunch of, uh, vintage shitters. A what? A bunch of vintage shitters. Oh, that forget that crap. <laughs> Marky, what's your top five? What's your top five, Mark? Doc? Tell me this. Number one, the discontinued. Well, yes. I think he loves his two balls the most. I only have one ball. Oh, okay. We only got one ball. What? You know who else only had one ball? What? You should have come on Hitler. yesterday, man. Hitler had. You should have come ball. on yesterday. You should have come on. Uh... Yesterday I was at a oh, monastery. Ahead, sorry. Yesterday I was at a monastery with the monks. I put a. I put a, a, a video of the monastery on my channel. Y'all want to see what the monastery looks like. It's very cool. But anyway, um, they train dogs and we write books together. So my top five, I would think, is the uh, the discontinued version of the James Cameron. Yep. I think that's my first, my best one. Then uh, the Batman. Yep. Then uh, I have that pre-ceramic Sea Dweller and the No Date Sub, the 14060M. Mm -hmm. And then I don't know. I bought a bluesy because you know this is your fault, but I have a bluesy. How do we feel about the pre, pre ceramic bluesy these days? They're fantastic. Yeah. Great watch. Still have it. It's a bunch of Rolex. Okay. Anything well, else? And yours is. Well, I mean, I have four Brightling. Four, I have four Brightling and a ball and. Um, Brightling. I have weird. I have weird Brightlings though. I don't have any of the real popular Brightlings. I have that Brightling World Timer. The Galactic That's Unit. still a cool watch. That's a cool watch. It's, I think it's one of the nicest watches they make. I'm surprised that it's not more popular, especially because you can buy them. They, you know, those retail at ninety six hundred dollars, but you can buy them from yeah. like Jones Shop and places like that. Brand new with stickers for like thirty five hundred dollars. So oh, don't talk about stickers to Clive. <laughs> Clive, what's with the stickers? Oh, it's a long story. Hmm. Uh, by the way, Bear Clooney watches is on. I, I, I've tried to invite Bear Clooney on this live stream many times, but st he still has self-respect. Mm. Anyway, uh, Bear Clooney watches says my top five, and it's interesting. Yes, a ceramic, a ceramic Daytona. Oh well, no, shit! A Batman. Shit. A Hulk. A Type 20. Was that a typo? No, it says Type 20. And a Bluesy. Shit, yeah, he's got Bear one Brega. He's got a Brega. Yeah, he's got a Type 20. I think he was he was probably drunk. He's got some amazing watches, that's for sure. He does. He actually does. Uh, yeah, actually, yeah. Well, that, okay. Does explain a few things, Mark. <laughs> yeah. Well, somebody got. Go ahead, go ahead, Yep. Here, here's a question for you guys. Um, 
aside from uh, Archie and Mark, Ving and Clyde, do you guys have safety deposit boxes? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Yeah. Must okay. have. Must have. I was watching Mark's video today about talking about going on a, you know, a watch diet. And uh, so I was actually calling my local banks and stuff like that. And and um, I know that one of them might actually give you a, a safety deposit box for free. So I think I'm going to take advantage of that. Yeah, that's uh, how I see it. I got mine for free, too. How many pieces do you guys usually keep in there? Like 15. Wow. I keep them all in there. Archie, are you, are you beach? You look a little bit like, a, uh, like an orca that is washed up on the beach right now. Like <laughs> yeah, then, this is a... Uh... Because I had computer trouble, I've had to relocate to the lounge room. See, so this is the lounge, right? right this is the lounge room, and uh, yeah, I I had a good sleep yesterday. I had a pizza yesterday. I had a good nap for about three hours. Doc, I think Doc is here, and that's a good thing because you look like you Doc. Don't Doc, how are you? I'm good. How are you, gentlemen? Gentlemen, hey, doing well. Yeah, I use the term loosely. <laughs> hey, he's not a gynecologist, Jim. He's not a gynecologist. <laughs> Doc, your your top five. We're talking top five watches. What's your top five watches? You got the two Daytoners. You've got a nipple dial GMT and a nipple dial sun. And then so I've got four. a blue your fifth? and a purple, and a purple sub. A blue purple set. Uh, yeah. Jeez. You got everything. <laughs> Those are, well, but you know, there's more, so I, it's hard to say top five. By the way, it was not a conspiracy thing, Ving. It was a Monty Python reference. Oh, well. Number I, six, there is no number six. Um, a guy uh, by the name of. Grill. Yeah, by the name of Alex is asking me a pretty good question in the chat, but Alex, I got to tell you, super chat a dollar to poor Archie to keep him full time, help him get his horns cut off, and uh, to pay for the defense fund, and then I'll answer that question. It's a good question. Yeah, what's with the status of that? Are you going through with that, Arch, or what? What's that? Hey, I, I got. Do you have a doctor's appointment? Yeah, Monday, Monday, Monday. Monday, okay. Gonna get and I'm going to sell all them afterwards. I'm gonna I'm gonna miss them. I mean, like I'm seriously gonna miss them because, uh, you know, I still remember the first time I noticed them, like maybe four years ago. And since then, they've gotten progressively more succulent and juicy. And um, I, I honestly uh, wait. What, what, sorry, I, I drifted out. What were you talking about just now? I'm talking about Archie's uh, dimples. Left okay. Right. Okay. Good. And uh, they're they're kind of cute. So I, I honestly I think we're I think we're gonna miss them. Paul, I have a question. What, sure, if sure. Out, what, what if it turns out that like all your mojo is contained in them? Well, I've been lacking mojo lately, so I, 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 was, I actually think the other way. What happens if they're removed and suddenly I get onto, I've got a backlog of paid reviews. What happens if I actually start getting them churned out? Well, then you, then you get the new stress. Well, for starters, you'd quit filming uh, filler films about your watch boxes. That might be the first thing to go. Mm. Andy, Andy Johnson, asking questions about my bracelet. You too can can um, can hit super chat for one measly dollar or twenty Philippine pesos and get answers to your question. People, there's a button on your screen for super chat, isn't there, guys? Please hit the, hit the yeah, button. Please, thank you so much. Money for KFC, and uh, actually, Paul has cut my pay. I don't know about uh, you, the rest of you guys, but Paul actually gave me a pay cut recently. So we need you to super chat a little bit of money, please. Yeah, Thank and that's you. why you had to go from the Porsche to the Ford. <laughs> you know what? Thank you that's for that. Possible. It's all part of the. You know, it, it happened right around when you bought a Tag Heuer, and uh, and I could no longer afford the, the uh, insurance payments for the gasoline. You know, it takes uh, takes premium fuel. The, um, the Porsche and the Ford Exploder uses regular. It's so much cheaper. It's like it's like a dollar a gallon less. On them. Wow. Yeah, but I think I think the Ford also can do alternative fuels, though. Can it? Can't you stick like straight uh, ethanol in there now? Isn't it a flex I, I, fuel vehicle? No, that's me. You can stick straight ethanol in me, but the uh, I don't. 
you know, I mean, we, we, we have, ten, uh, this is Illinois, it's corn country. We have 10% ethanol and everything. But, um, and I still have 365 horsepower, which is a lot of horsepower. Uh, $7, super super chat. $7 super chat by Richard Greenberg. Hey, Archie, what are the odds that the horns grow back? That's a good question. 60, 40. Uh, well, at least then I can. 50, 50. There we go. Thank you, Doc. You're welcome. Also, I think if those horns are cut off, the remaining horn will give you that unicorn look. No, it'll be <laughs> it'll That's be it. Bruce, he'll be like tilted like this. He'll be like he, he, he'll be the chiropractor. If they cut off only one. The weight uh, he, will, he will tilt towards the. Ooh, Mark, you I might just not had know. some very. He's got three horns, actually. <laughs> we, well, the, I, we're not far enough along in the relationship for me to comment on the tripod effect. Well, if you get them cut off, you could always mount them and stick them on the wall. This is this is kind of like a broke back mountain moment all of a sudden here. Just. Just very, very sad news coming in. Mini Me actor Vern Troyer dies age 49. That's the the actor who played Mini Me in the Austin Powers franchise. Wait, wasn't he already dead? No, you're thinking of. No, he just died. Oh, I'm thinking of. <laughs> you're you're no, thinking no, of. Mark. Mark. He committed suicide. Mark, only on the inside. Only on the inside. <laughs> <laughs> Nathan Lane's dead? Nathan Lane? Wait, Nathan Lane is dead? No. Don't start uh, ruining didn't Archie, didn't Archie just say Nathan Lane? Okay. No, he said Hervé Biachet. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Verne Troyer, his name was. There you go. Just out of interest, I just thought I'd, I'd share that with you. Very, very was it Verne sad news Verne? indeed. Could it possibly have been Verne, not Verne? <laughs> whatever whatever <laughs> i love it i love your malapropisms mm. mark what are the odds you think he knows what a malapropism is i love i have no idea i, have I, really no idea. Idea. I loved i thought you said priapism that priapism is a painful erection lasting four or more hours. And if I get that, it's not going to be painful for me. It's going to be painful for my partner, but not for me. I'll tell you right now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Doc, tell them how you cure priapism. You let the air you watch out. Archie, uh, you, watch, you watch Archie eating pizza. <laughs> well, okay, there's that. Oh, but, uh, you know, the, he, Doc you is... Watch, you, watch Archie cutting a, you watch Archie cutting his toenails. Uh, you watch Archie show his crotch in the Batman in his Captain Shitter outfit. Sure, sure. Did you, you like that? No. Should I bring him no, back? No. Yes or no? Yes. yes. And an I, encore on the piano. Captain Shitter needs to do an encore on the piano. Okay. Thank you. I'll remember that. Thank you. I did, I'm just impressed. I can't get anything past the the junior doctor and and dog whisperer. He. He knows what priapism is right off the bat. I, I told you, I went to medical school. I, why don't you listen to me, Doc? But when you said let the air out, you're only partially kidding, right? You want to tell them the truth? <laughs> usually usually it settles down. It's usually drug-related. Mm. Sometimes am. people do go to the, to the operating room, but I luckily I've not had to be part of that. You so. never go to the operating room. What does your friendly, what does your friendly urologist do? Oh, they, okay, you're they have to to let, let the blood out. It's a blood draw. It it is a penile blood draw for the oh. collapse again. Oh. You gotta let the blood out. You do. When so when you said you gotta let the air out, that made me laugh. And I was like, you're pretty close. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't want to bring it up because it's it's a painful thing for even me to think about. Well, you know, Doc, is your best effort still in place? I've I've never had that problem, and I don't think I ever will. I can't. The only actually the only since we're on the topic, the only cases that I'm aware of and that I was actually a part of in terms of seeing in the emergency room, people were injecting uh, Viagra for whatever reason. They were injecting. Yeah, Where do you get liquid Viagra? Super chat. They Super were making chat, five dollars. Super chat by Richard Greenberg. What's everyone's next grill watch? 
Drew Stiefel, starting with you. Uh, the, the piece that I really want the most right now um, is probably on a lot of people's list, and that is a Daytona. But I'm not really a big fan of the ceramic bezel. Uh, if I could pick one Daytona, it would be the white dial with the stainless steel bezel. I sold it. It's so disappointing. That is a disappointing watch. You'll be disappointed. Really? Second or, second or third generation, Drew Unless you um, like – you, may, you like kind of small, delicate watches, so you might like it after all. You like your 37-millimeter – um Grand Seiko, do you like that one? It's it's okay. 37 is, is pretty small. Um I was kind of worried about that, but uh I really do like my I think honestly one of my favorite watches just because of the size of it is probably my uh my uh Seawolf, my Avenger 2, my Breitling. What just was that a 40 is that a 42? I think it's a 45. The the Daytona is going is is forty, but it wears more like a thirty nine, especially the steel bezel one. It wears very. Try one and wear it for a while before you buy it, just to be sure. Now, how would you relate the size of it to like a uh, Speedmaster? Smaller. I, you know what? I, I can't answer that because I've never worn a Speedmaster, but I could tell you it's a heck. It's it, it wears smaller than a um, than a Submariner uh, than a ceramic one. Or wait, a wait. Do we want to do, do we want a comparison? Or do it. Pull out your face. I, mean, I think it were significantly smaller than a Speedmaster. Is this is a Speedmaster? Is it forty two mils or is it forty one? Forty two. Yeah, it's roughly forty two. So it's forty two, but it really feels almost like a, a forty mil watch. I think the Speedmaster. Yeah, it, I feel like my yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. It does because they tried to. That's why they put the angles on the case to make it wear smaller. The speed okay. was not the Speedmaster. If I go back to the sub, I feel like the sub is a tiny little watch. Wow. See, I, the Submariner is still on my list, though, too. So, you know, maybe I should just uh, come to terms with the subby and and bite that bullet and go that route. I would way well, rather have Daytona. The reason I asked about the Daytona and which one is that if you're thinking of the Daytona with the newer Daytona with the in house movement, it's actually, you can get a cheaper than you can the one with the, the Zenith. Zenith. Movement. Right, exactly, absolutely. Yeah, that's probably the way I'd go if I do go that route, but um, it's just getting your hands on one to even try it out is the real problem right now because everybody's that's, going through that same scenario. That's the thing. I mean, you know what? If, you, um, if you're not stuck a big wrist presence and, and you really like the movement, and you really like the, you know, it's a great watch. You know, there's nothing, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just that, you know, you're in the ten, twelve thousand dollar range for a watch that has kind of like real laid back wrist presence, especially that white one. Yeah. See, now I'm getting to that point to where I am liking the larger watches, especially with the uh, um, the Avenger Two Seawolf. So I almost because initially, it, kind of my grail was really I was just going to kind of be basic with it and go with um, just a Submariner. And then now I was like, you know, that now having a you know larger watches and, and liking larger watches. <laughs> Um, maybe I should go with the James Cameron, you know, or the forty-three millimeter C Redline Sea Dweller. Yeah, yeah, that wouldn't be a bad uh, a bad option too. Either of those, because those are some chunky watches. That Daytona is just too little. And um, if you like Breitling, like I like Breitling, it kind of spoils you for, for for like big wrist presence, and then it's real hard to go back to something. Yeah, I can but see a collection of them. But if you want a big chunky driver, could diver. Can I make a suggestion? Yes. Sir? Yeah. I would suggest a Panerai, but wait for Archie to get his first and make 5,000 <laughs> videos about it and drive the price further down. Yeah. Then I was I so wrong. I couldn't have been more wrong. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did you like those videos? The, it's all the Panerai. What, I was going to say, my dream watch my dream watch is going to be a Cardi my dream watch is going to be a Lang A1. However, I'm seriously considering getting a Cartier just to annoy everyone. A Cartier Roadster? Could it I'm, I'm not going to com I'm not going to comment what model. I've already had a Roadster. No, it won't be a Roadster. I thought you'd already gotten a Cartier. A tank Woman no. Cartier. Uh, that's a long story. Clyde, do you have a spare Cartier you could sell, Archie? Yeah, probably. Probably. <laughs> You could pick them one up locally. They're all over Oklahoma. Yes. <laughs> yes. <they. laughs> I think you're right. Wait, yes. We, we got to get back to Richard's uh, super chat. Everybody's That's next girl watch. 
Who wants to go next? Ring. Okay. My Grail watch right now. I'm not sure. It's either the five. It's either a five one nine six, or I have to say um, a Stella dial date eight with a date eight with a pink Stella dial, yellow gold, diamond indices. That would be just a perfect watch. Last Doctor? Dead silence there. <laughs> Doctor, we were going in order. Is it my turn? Yes. I, I guess I think of Girl Watch as something that I'm probably never going to get. And um, so my grail is if I just if I win the lottery or sell my house or do mm -hmm. something stupid like that, I would probably get a Paul Newman Daytona because I like the vintage Daytona. A Paul Newman Daytona. Holy fuck. The red chapter ring. You know that one? It's a white, it's a cream white dial with a red chapter ring. Mm. Mark? 6241. I would like to have either a gold sub or a world timer with a dive watch function. And somebody's um, okay. Somebody, and somebody makes that one. I think gold I would like to get a I think I'd like to get a Breguet Type 20 with a uh, with a matching bracelet. We're talking about what what girl watch we want to buy next, right? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Isn't that a thirty? Okay. Uh, that's a thirty millimeter Patek. Mm. <laughs> no, actually, the girl watch, the real girl watch, is the is the uh, Breguet Type 20 on that shiny ass bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> Ha 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 ha! Wah 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 wah! I'd consider uh, swapping it for the three, two, one if you're interested, Clive. Paul, could you humor me what? for a quick second with a request? Sorry, I said, could you humor me one quick second with a with a brief request? Sure, anything for you. Okay, could you just like lay back again on the on the couch there? Just lay back again the way you were. All right. Yeah. Great. Now just sit back up the way you were. One, just come yeah. on back up. Come on. Okay, back up. Okay, now that was one sit up. How much super chat money for 99 more? <laughs> that was a sit up you just did. We got a $50 super chat just now. Damn. Are you going to watch it? $50 super chat, Dan Redgate. I have an Explorer 2 42 millimeter. When the Tudor, sorry, Tudor GMT was announced, I was hooked. But the longer time passes from Basel, I'm eyeing older non ceramic Rolex GMT models. Should I go for a Tudor if I only if I already own a Rolex? Ceramic GMT looks too chunky in my humble opinion. I agree. I agree if you like that Probably, look. Yeah. What look? Uh, the look, I, if you I like the look of the more vintage watch. If you look if you like that vintage look, which it sounds like he just does, that's not a bad I gotta idea. tell you this. Why is it that whenever and everyone has gone crazy for the GMT, everyone bags the Explorer 2. The Explorer 2 is a very cool watch that is a very very cool watch it's super cool okay well okay how could you well, let how me could you this, not love let me put this in terms you'll understand the explorer 2 is basically the explorer 2 of the rolex sports range <laughs> <laughs> i think mark hit it on the head the explorer 2 kind of like the daytona it flies under the radar it kind of blends in and it yeah, and, and Remember, guys, Dan has the 42 millimeter one, which is the new one, and that, that is bigger, two millimeters bigger, has greater wrist presence. And what he's asking is, should he get that Tudor GMT? You know, um, I think I'd say 100%. Grab it, grab it. I reckon that'd be a cool collection. Well, GMT. Why not the, collect GMT well, function watches? Is, is that the Coke? The, that's the Tudor Coke one, right? 
or no, was, no, 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 it's a Pepsi. It's a Pepsi. Yeah. Really, but he's really saying, should I, should I get the, should I get the Tudor or consider getting a non-ceramic Rolex GMT, an older one? But they're not good value. They're not good value. Well, you know what? I reckon the Tudor is the bargain because if he's got a forty-two mil Explorer two. The Tudor, it actually, you, you know, the, the Black Bay casing is 41 mils. It's very girthy. So I reckon it would be perfect combo meal deal. Here's the, here's the question that I would have for you about that, Paul. And that is, if he's going to buy a Tudor Pepsi GMT, it's brand shit spanking new. He will not be able to buy it used. He is going to have to pay retail and possibly even a small premium. So... Would he not be better off waiting a year or two and just start coming up on the secondary market for that particular watch? Do you know any watch collectors who can actually wait? But see, yeah. that's the other idea. He, he can get a pre-ceramic Rolex GMT right now. Exactly, for probably around the same money. Yeah, my vote is to pass in the Tudor altogether. I'm just not a fan of the Tudor Pepsi, and I hate the new rivet, uh, rivet bracelet on the, on the Tudors. The faux rivets, you don't like the faux rivets. I just, you know, I just make, I feel like it makes it look like a cheap, like kid's toy. The just the, the look of the rivets on the bracelet. I mean, I know. Somehow, your Stifo pronounces it fake rivets. I just think it looks Jeez, oh, oh, I, 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 that, I'm, I'm a bit scared to ask you what you think of my Salita movement. Everybody hates your Salita movement. Everybody hates your Salita movement. They hate your Salita movement more than they hate my Ford Exploder. Even more. Yeah, my, my vote's for, for the Rolex GMT. Why do they call it a Salita movement in the first place? <laughs> well, it's you know, a close... You know, the funny part is... The funny part is... When I first got my uh, gold nipple dial, GMT, the GMT-1, you know, I got it for like 56. So I think it was, yeah, I think it's like 56. And God damn it, everyone was hating on me on the board. So it basically said, you're an idiot. No one's two-tone is horological dysfunction, erectile dysfunction. You got screwed. But actually, Archie is the one who said, hold on to it. Hold on to the plastic pilots. The metal ones, the steel ones are going up, and it's going to bring the two tones up with it. Who do you think was right? Same, yeah, I agree with you, Clive. Same thing happened when I got my two tone. People said, "Why'd you get that?" No, no. Who do you think was right? Arch. Yes. I vote for. So, uh, also, uh, if, I if you have if you have a watch question that you're unsure about, if you need the voice of seasoned experience. What's a resource that people can turn to? They can pay for a phone call, 50 US dollars for a phone call, and I'll chat to you for an hour. I'll give anything a try. Dan, I think you should go find right. yourself a root beer pre ceramic nipple dial GMT. That is a thing of beauty. Saw one in the wild once at a liquor store in Fort Lauderdale in the middle of the night on a drunk surgeon who had just crashed his Lamborghini into a light pole. And, uh, Ooh. And Bruce? Staggered yeah, and staggered into the liquor so store to pick up some more. But but he had the most amazing watch. It was a root beer nipple dial GMT pre ceramic. Boot. How did you know he was a surgeon? Oh, we got the talking. <laughs> we got we got the chit chat. The police didn't come out, did they? No, no. He just cracked the headlight. You know, he, but you know what? That what do you think a cracked headlight on a Lamborghini? Oh, about five grand. Yeah, probably. He just pulled a little too. He pulled a little too hard and heavy into the parking spot. There's a pole right in front of him, and he, he pulled right into shit. it. Yeah, he was shit faced, knockered. But Fort Lauderdale, it's, you know, some kind of place. It's the only way to operate. Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So we've been doing this for only. I mean, for for an hour. Wait, who left? Who left? I think, Paul, I think Paul laid down and he can't get up. Help, I've fallen. <laughs> no, there you are. Do you, do we, if, Paul, if, you're going to have to do something, man. You have to do something. What are the, the, the punters have to uh, have to buy you a pizza or, or a bucket of chicken or something. 
Uh, I'm going to have a coffee in a minute. But, guys, i got to tell you this seriously, right? I am actually going to be... I love gay, black, Jewish, Muslim men. Um, <laughs> you can't be Jewish and Muslim at the same time, God damn it! Uh, okay, you could convert. Wait, I was thinking. Of, I was thinking of trying it on for size. But. Yeah, um, I got to tell you guys seriously. For me, I got to tell you, I'm having that health shake again. Okay, I got to tell you guys seriously. It's uh, this week. I'm putting my watches in the safe. I'm keeping. Two out. I want to know what I should keep out. One of them has to be the Monaco. Can you run Monaco. it off with the snare? Sorry? Monaco Juxtaposition. What haven't you worn in a long time, Paul? I haven't worn the IWC or the Breguet or the Speedy. I'd, I'd say the Immanure because it goes, it goes the closest to the Tag Hoyer. <laughs> what, makes you, what makes you smile the most when you wear it? Uh, mm, I don't know anymore. I really don't know. I don't know. I, mean, I don't know what it is. I think you should wear the Explorer 1 exclusively. Explore, I think you should wear your Explorer 2 for a week exclusively and see if you still like it. A week. Or if you're not tired mm. of this. You know what? I'm going to lock up every watch I own on Monday when the banks open and I'm going to wear a G Shock for a week. Just, oh, you know, let's maybe. Do we want to do the challenge again? <laughs> yeah, and, and I can wear the Salita. I can wear the Salita. True. Your Salita and my G Shock are on about the same level, except for I spent $179 yes. on mine. Exactly. Yeah. And I could still make I guess the same. So. Okay, come on. Do you see that they're just releasing the original uh, G Shock and all stainless steel as well as gold plated? No, that's like really horrible. What an awful idea. Although mine has a stainless steel bracelet. So that was one of the things I that. And it's got world time. Kind of cool. And it's solar. So I don't have to pull the battery out. Of it. Everybody hey, hey, Doc. Doc, how is that dial there? I got to give that guy an answer this week if you're interested or not. He's, he's not in a hurry. He's just asking me. I'm interested, but I still haven't looked at the pictures. Okay. You haven't looked at the pictures? It's been busy, and I just, yeah, I'm going to look at them when we're he done. He has a jar. Do you know what a jar is? Okay, I'll I I leave it with you, okay? No, no pressure. No uh, pressure, Doc. Actually to I actually was working today, which is why I was late getting to the chat. No, no, that's okay, Doc. It's all cool. Look, if, you, if you're not interested, don't feel obligated to buy it. It doesn't really matter to me. No, I'm, but... I'm interested. My watchsmith said it was a good idea. No, that's okay. I'll, I'll leave it with you for another week or so, okay? That's cool. No problems there. Doc, Doc, I got to ask you this. I got a friend of mine. We're talking Daytonas, right? Yes, sir. So my friend's got three Daytonas. He's got a steel, um, a steel, two steels, a, a white dial and a black dial pre ceramic. So this is with the Rolex movement. He's got a two-tone with the blue dial with Arabics, right? Hmm. Okay. And he's just, next week we're finalizing a white gold on a, on a strap, a white gold on a, on, on a leather strap. Wow. Zenith movement. Ooh. What do you think, what do you think of that as a, as, a, as a watch? So it sounds like you said he has one Zenith coming. And he's got three. He's got three in-house Daytonas right now. Yes. Wow. Well, I still want to get yours, a Daytona. I haven't gotten one yet. And I'll tell you what he's paying for the um, the white gold. It, it. I'll tell you. I tell you what he paid for it because I. I honestly think this is a relative bargain. Can I guess first? Sure, you can. Yes, please, please do so. You're already telling me he's getting a great price on it, so. Well, think I, I think it's a great price. You tell he's buying it from a dealer. He is buying it from a dealer, so he's not stealing it like, is, like, 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 like the attorney him. friend of yours. Did he manage this to get like it to twenty-five thousand? Sorry. Twenty-five thousand. Did he manage to get it for twenty-five thousand? U.S. or Aussie dollars? What are we talking? I'm thinking U.S. 
so so let's just sorry sorry um he's buying it used it's a zenith from the late 90s it's white gold with a white gold buckle and a blue rolex strap on it it's a it white from. dial piece it's a zenith yes it's not new is he getting it for less than thirty thousand? he's getting it for 15 doc super chat super chat wow seven dollars canadian will archie film the horn removal and make a video for his channel Yes, but that will be for Patreon. Uh, you'll only get to see that if you only get to see that if you're a Patreon supporter or a lady boy. And I'm also going to be doing rebandaging only for Patreon supporters too. You can are see you the pussing. Are you gonna Are you gonna put them on a deli slicer the way I suggested and uh, cut them thin and then? <laughs> I'll see what I can do. If I if I'm alive, I will do that. You're gonna be alive, but I really wonder what the um, you know whether uh, you can import Australian meat into the United States of America, or do you have to pass a hook and mouth disease? You know, do we have to test you for hook and mouth disease. Are you going to get knocked out and have them do it, or are you going to stay awake for it? Lab, that's a simple lidocaine thing, Doc. Come on. I, I think I was going to have a local. Yeah. Couple, couple shots. Another, of snip, snip. I just know another, Paul, another thing. Say, it's more expensive, but you don't have to do a removal if there's going to be separation anxiety. You can do a transplant. You can put it to some less conspicuous part of your body. So basically, <laughs> we, can do a, we can do a flap with a pedicle. How about if we – hey, Doc, think about this for a quick second. We, we do a flap, we leave a pedicle, and we put it right in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> you have an idea? What do you think? Explain. We put both of them that way. Explain the procedure to him now, so he understands what we just said. <laughs> I think maybe on his chin. <laughs> so that they're sticking up this way instead. No, we, we're going for straight or actually, removal. Well, actually, they. What if you have them reattached surgically? Because technically, they would be removed. You have to have them reattached surgically. Long. You can't. If they're not like plants. They're not like plants that will just grow. You have to preserve the blood supply. So that's the key point. It's not like an organ where you can just transplant it. You know, you got to preserve it. <laughs> the problem is if we're going to put them down here, Doc, correct me if I'm wrong, but we're going to have to take like blood vessels out of his thigh, you know, to reap. I just. Uh, well, I think here's an interesting thing, though. Clive always yeah. talks about yeah. Archie being a child. If that's true then they could be transplanted in a simple fashion and the blood supply would regenerate. Oh my That's God, what if, we could grow, what if we could grow a whole new Archie in a Petri dish? <laughs> what, if, what if they cut the, Doc, Doc, I have a serious question for you. Cloning, they, cloning off of what they cut off? Listen, no, no, they're gonna have to send them to pathology, right? They do, standard procedure. And in pathology, they're going to have to dissect them and examine the tissue under a microscope to make sure there's nothing, you know, irregular growing in there, right? Right. No cancer. Right. Yeah. yeah. What are the chances uh, that they find? What are the chances that they find teeth and hair in those little guys? <laughs> Jesus Christ! It usually happens with, as you know, Mark. I know you know this. It usually it happens with ovarian tumors. Well, so the well, theory would be that he has an ovarian tumor growing there. What is it possible? Is there a case? <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna do like James Comey. I'm gonna say I don't know. What if he has? What if he has? What if what if Archie is the only one of parasitic triplets who who made it out, and and he's actually carrying his twins? Uh -huh. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Which one? Which one of the three would be the trip? Would be the parasite? Would it be? <laughs> <one of them? laughs> Okay. Well, anyway. also, also when you take it in, when you take the samples in, make sure the pathologist is not Asian, or you will never see them again. <laughs> That's listen. You know what? Uh, tumors. It's the other white meat. By the way, you, you know, I got to say, the guys, uh, the guys in the chat room are like all vomiting and, and tuning out because they're getting, they're getting, they want us to change the topic. We're getting get back out. onto the watch talk. Get back yeah. onto the watch talk. Yeah. I want to follow on what you said about the Daytona there, uh, Archie, because here's the thing that's crazy. What you're telling yes. us is that if you get a Zenith Daytona, Zenith Movement yep. Daytona, the stainless steel is going to be five to ten grand more than a gold. 
Yes. Now, this isn't a gold on a bracelet. This is gold on a leather strap. Okay, but still, that's crazy. It's still, it's just, it's still a solid gold Daytona. In white gold, there's always a premium for white gold. They didn't make a hell of a lot of white gold Zenith Daytonas. But what you're telling me is you can, you think get, they a can make it you, to get a stainless steel, you have to pay five to 10000 more than a white gold. That's right. That's, that's how crazy it is. Yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. Do you think they could make it to where Archie would have four nipples? <laughs> Somebody on the chat board does not like our use of the term nipple, so he wants us to refer to them as areolas from now on. You know, the areola, anatomically speaking, is not the same as the nipple. The areola the is the, is the is colored the portion. The pigment the surrounding the nipple. Basically, for the baby, it serves as a target to help them, like, actually hit the target. That's the point. But interestingly, you when you look, at a, if you look at a nipple dial, it is kind of a nipple, but it's also kind of an areola. Yeah, sadly, the nipple dials have very, very small areolas. They do. Very small. But the smaller ones are often more sensitive. <laughs> you mean the smaller nipples? Uh, God, yeah, I would yeah. just like it to be known that I didn't start this. <laughs> I'm just enjoying now, the awkward or, silence. Right or, <laughs> or if he has more than two, can they? I guess I think he's got like at least one other one, at least one other one. But cut them all off and maybe like. Hit them like all around, blow his belly button to make like udders. <laughs> yeah, try to milk them. I really think exactly. I really think you should ask for these guys back from the path lab. Just saying. Okay. Okay. Oh, Let me see how I do it. I mean, like Don't you know, them. like you know, they 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 um, they preserved Einstein's brain. This this needs to go into like the Smithsonian. The YouTube Museum for Posterity. This is not. What did they find with Einstein's brain? Tell me this. I don't, it's missing. Nobody knows where it's gone. It sounds yeah. like Archie Luxury's brain. Also, also <laughs> Kennedy's brain. Kennedy's brain as well. It disappeared. No, 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 no. Kennedy's brain did not disappear. It is. A, it's at a dry cleaner in Dallas, Texas, on a little pink jacket. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah. Got nice. that. Everybody understand the reference? It's like, yeah. I'm old to remember that stuff. The little pink jacket was uh, Jackie's jacket, dry cleaner. You know what the JFK's last words were? It was, ow. What? Yeah, it was like, uh, that was the last word. Dry cleaner. To go to the dry cleaner. Actually, it was a raspberry, if I remember right. A raspberry stain. No, no, it was a raspberry colored outfit. Did you know that the, uh, uh, um, I thought it was pink, but uh, Jackie insisted on, on, on taking that picture uh, being with uh, LBJ being sworn in on the airplane in her blood spattered jacket without washing her face because she wanted people to know what had happened to her husband. And, and uh, LBJ asked her to be in that picture so as to legitimize his presidency. She refused to. Well, actually, I heard he want, she wanted to. She wanted to show LBJ what he did to her husband. Mm. Yes, that's exactly right. Now you're getting into the conspiracy end of this thing. Well, um, you, you know, you know, you know who agrees with that. You can always go on to Jake's Rolex blog. Jake's Rolex blog. He's actually Jake Irwich. He's a famous defense attorney who's that's, that's his grandfather, who Perry Mason was based on. And he wrote the book Never Plead Guilty. Can I suggest you call him? Can I suggest you call him tonight? And uh, he, he mm. also believes that uh, he believes strongly that LBJ was involved in the 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 murder of uh, Kennedy. You have an appearance tomorrow, don't you? Tomorrow? Is it tomorrow? When's your appearance? This week? Uh, Tuesday. 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 What watch are you going to wear in the end? Actually, that's a very good question. What watch can I wear there? I was actually going to wear the uh, the Salida Movement Monaco. I think that that's Come a up. good idea. I think that's a good idea. That okay. is sort of like that's a, that's a plea for two dollars. Two dollars super chat. Two dollars super chat for uh, 
uh, for Mark Goldberg by P PV Blockfication. Dog is know? suddenly drinking lots of water. Dog is suddenly drinking lots of water. Constipated? No, not like Mark. Could well, be diabetes. It's a uh, yeah. Sometimes it's a sign of diabetes. Sometimes it's a sign that the fucker's thirsty. <laughs> I actually thought that was it about Archie at first. So what I can tell you is if it's, if, it, if, it's, if it's constant, if it never stops, then uh, you might want to just have them do a urinalysis on the dog and they can detect diabetes in the urine. But there's a lot of dogs that like to drink more than is good for them and then uh, they're constantly cracking the sea. So not uncommon. So the answer is it depends. So what are you going to wear to the court? Uh, you're looking for man. the Monaco. Are you going to wear the Monaco? Yeah, I think I'll wear the Monaco, Monte Carlo, because I'm throwing. I'm 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 um I'm rolling the dice. It's a roll of the dice, so it's very symbolic. It's um, it's very symbolic because I'm rolling the dice like a casino, and uh, it also at the heart of the issue is a nasty Salita. At the heart of the issue is a nasty Salita. And uh, the other thing is, too, is that um, competency hearing. I just think it I think it's cool. I think it's just a cool. I like that blue 70s blue, you know. It's kind of like a Berthier watch. Well, the uh, mm -hmm. listen, all, all else has a Berthier watch. Oh, oh, who's boy. that? Glad you, you know. Yes. Yep. The Speedy. Well, the good no, thing no. about wearing the good thing about no, wearing no. Monaco, the good thing about wearing the Monaco to your court hearing is, by the time you get out of jail, it's going to be in fashion again. <laughs> good point. Good point. Ah, it's all cool. It's all cool. Look, look, look. It's it's a it's only one hearing. It's not a trial. The trial's ages away. Hopefully, they're going to dismiss the charges. But uh, I think wearing a Monaco yeah. is a good idea because I, I think wearing a Patek sends, sends the wrong message. I think wearing wearing a, a Tag Heuer brings along a message of humility into the courtroom. So I think that's, that's a good choice. You might get some pity from from the judge if you wear that. Yes, 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 yeah. I quite, I, I do love. I got to be honest with you. Out of all the criticisms there, I do agree with you. I can't believe I'd actually embrace this watch so much. I cannot believe it. It's like I cannot believe it. It's like falling in love with the ugly chick. Like you know yeah. it's wrong, but sometimes it just happens. It just happens. Exactly. <laughs> you hit it on the head there. You know, you hit it it's on like, the head. Meet that girl who, who you're kind of ashamed to be with, but she can suck the chrome off of a trailer hitch. Sometimes you just got to go downtown. <laughs> you know, actually, one of the best live stream, one of the best comments I ever saw in one of the streams was someone posted watching archie luxury is like fucking a fat girl everyone does it but no one wants to admit to it <laughs> yes well, yeah i think we all got our start we all got our start with the podcast we, we, and i gotta be honest with you after this thing oh, goes I well i gotta be honest with you after this thing goes well i'm gonna reboot the archie luxury lifestyle diet is that the one where you eat uh, copious quantities of seafood and suck the shells on camera? Which one is that? I forget. No, no, no. This is a serious attempt. I'm going to do a serious attempt once the stress of this thing is over. And if, if I don't win, I also go to a boot camp for a couple of months where they have really bad food and a lot of gym equipment. That's, you're joining the army? And a few Something fellas like chasing that. you around as well. <laughs> this is uh, Archie 2.79985432. Yes, that that's like right. A, that sounds like an you know, actually, Archie, actually, Archie, if you're sentenced, you, you might want to think of it as like being at a luau. Wait, do they have two people in a cell or three? No, no idea. Well, I think if it's three, then you should think of it as being spending a year at a luau. <laughs> now I get it. Mark, Mark cut it. Well, I am. I myself. <laughs> yes, I did. I. Uh, I myself am going on a diet as of tomorrow. I'm not too sure about tonight, but definitely as of tomorrow. 
since the holidays, like, I, put, I packed on two. I packed on two Starvation diets don't work, Mark. No, I know. I, I have to eat. So I, I, I actually, when I'm dieting, I kind of eat constantly, but I, I, um, I eat like a lot of vegetables and salads and. No, Mark, you're going on a wash diet, right? Unfortunate stuff. I kind of am on. You know what? That's a good point. I, I, uh, they're stifled. I, I, there's nothing. That question about the grail really threw me because I don't want anything right now. Yeah. I feel yeah. like I've just, I'm bloated uh, and I just don't want anything right now. What do you think of that idea, Marky? I was thinking of instead of getting a Lang A1, how about a Cartier? Yeah. Well, will, that shock, will that shock the audience more than my Salita movement um, Monaco? All I could say is you're on a you're hanging by you're hanging by a golden thread over the pit of hell, and the Lange mm -hmm. a Lange would sort of pull you up a little higher, and a Cartier is going to make you feel the heat a little more on your toes. So it just depends. Okay, on but look, look before the before the tag hire multiple bridlings a piece so. I mean, it's a whole bunch of them. It's not a golden thread. It's more like a golden shower when you think about it. <laughs> Paul, have you been to Moscow? Have you ever been to the Ritz-Carlton in Moscow, and how are the hookers there? <laughs> Eastern Europe's very expensive for that sort of stuff. I got a very question. expensive. If you go to Nana Plaza and you want to mm -hmm. bring home three girls let's say they're not bar girls because you're too cheap to pay the bar fine let's just say there's just three yes. independent you know three independent in, in, indies 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 yeah freelancers yeah. yeah three indies and you want to bring them home from nana plaza and um you want to reenact yeah. you want to reenact the donald trump golden shower incident how many hotel juices and shampoos is that going to cost you <laughs> How many? I'll give you juice. How many juice? How many shampoo? You have to yeah, I'm never going to live that down. That was amazing footage. What did you think? That was amazing well, footage. There's, there's and, actually, uh, there's, there's two that are, one was when you, when, when, when you gave Nana Kim juice and bought her breakfast, but then there was footage when you were on, you were out, you were out on the street and you attempted to, you attempted to, to donate a, uh, a hotel shampoo to a uh, to a food vendor with a with a food cart or or either that or just like a homeless person on the street. It was that shampoo. And yes. What were you doing? What were you? Th what was going through your mind when you attempted to bribe a street person with a shampoo, with a hotel shampoo? No, I just don't like things to go to waste. I mean, if you've got all these things here, I like to share the lolly around. Mm. It's like Sir Ben Kingsley. If you if you guys are a fan of The Sopranos, just Google uh, Sir Ben Kingsley Luxury Lounge. That was a great. I love that luxury lounge thing, and uh, I'm trying to share some of the lolly. To quote Sir Ben Kingsley, I'm trying to share some of the lolly around. Is that okay? And you don't share very much of the pizza. No, no, pizza's nope. different. Forget that. Nothing doesn't no. let the pizza no. go to waste. No, no, someone actually had a really good point on the live stream chat. Maybe you should start planning ahead. Maybe you could learn how to start making toilet wine now. <laughs> toilet wine. I think it's called hooch. <laughs> oh, yes. Actually, I, I have no, seen no. that. I've seen that. I've seen that. The After Prison Show shows you how to make it. And also... Um, they also had prison prison pizza. They can make pizza in in prison. There, did you see that? The after prison show. That's a fantastic, fantastic YouTube channel. I love it. And hey guys, uh, I hate to cut this short, but I got to take off. Hey, dear Stiefel, I want to ask you very quickly. Just to sure. Stiefel, quickly. Um, did did how has that thing ended with Joma Shop? What was missing exactly? I've had people ask me, is German shop safe to buy? You basically got box and card, but it was missing I, I one of them. I got the, the Brightling box. They sent me it, and um, they didn't have the manual. They knew that they didn't have the manual or the leather protective cover with the box. Yeah. Yep. Um, they knew that right off the bat, and they still sent it to me anyways for some reason without saying anything. Um, yep. Like maybe two weeks went by, and they sent me the manual and uh the cosc certificate um, now if you would have asked them 
originally for it would they when you when you were uh sort of negotiating the price would you advise someone to always say to joe Michop, is it including box and papers yes or no well what key questions should you ask well i don't think that joe Michop is going to give you the actual international warranty card regardless but i spoke okay. with somebody who said that they had bought a watch um I believe it was from uh, WatchMap, so not Joma Shop. And they received yeah. the international warranty um, electronic card, but it was a blank card, but they still got it okay. from WatchMax. Um, okay. When I contacted Joma Shop and I bought everything from them, you know, I bought several watches from them and I haven't had any issues, but yeah. they didn't have anything at all. It was literally just the box and just the watch. Um, I see. And they knew, they knew that right off the bat. Because when I called, I said, hey, you guys sent me just a watch and box. They said, oh, yeah, you already called to report that uh, um, that it didn't have the manual in it because we have that in our records. And I said, this is the first time I'm calling. They said, oh, well, we knew that we didn't have the manual then. No, then why did they fucking yeah, send it to the in the stupid first place? Super chat. We have a super chat, ladies and gentlemen. There is a super chat, Clyde. I know. I was waiting for the two. Okay, do Steve. Well, I better let you go. If you've got to go, you've got to go. But very quickly, would you buy from Jama Shop again? Yes, no, maybe. Tell me the I honest would, truth. Yes, no, maybe. Yes, but specify what you're going to get. I, speak to somebody on the phone. And, uh, okay. Get their okay. And specify. If you need to go do it, you can jump out anytime. All right, gentlemen. It was good talking, everybody. Thank you. You too. Super good chat welcome. five. Yeah. Enjoy the evening. Ten dollars a scan. A shot in the dark. Tudor Ranger, any any thoughts? Oh, I love it. Absolutely love it. It's fucking sexy as sin. It's the Tudor version of the Explorer 1. How could you not fucking love it? The Tudor Ranger. Clive, what do you think of the Tudor Ranger? It's sexy as sin. I thought we were talking shit on sin just a second ago. No, sexy as sin, not the brand. Sin as in devil, the Bible, Clive, sin. biblical. Sin. No. Actually, Ving, is this the one that you almost think has like the squarish, like fifteen thirty element to it? No, yeah. that that's the North Flag. the The Ranger is oh. a ETA shitter. The Ranger is a what? The Ranger has an ETA movement. Yeah, but I've already accepted Salita. I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't criticize ETA when so, I've got so a fucking Salita on the wrist. Fuck me dead. And ETA movement's a step up for you now, Paul. <laughs> That's true. You, you know who owns Tag Heuer? Did you know who owns Tag Heuer? Same people that own Zenith yeah. and uh, Louis Vuitton, LVMH. Yeah, the purse makers. The purse I mean, makers. Paul, you know what? I love the fact that you bought a Tag Heuer with a Salita movement in it. Love it, absolutely. Because you can never again crap on my Valjoux 7750 watches. Never again. You've, you've completely given. You can stay on the Porsche, but you now have to accept. The Valjoux 7077. I gotta tell you something. You know, my watchmaker, he swears by seven 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 five zero. He said, Oh, thank you, thank you. He said, This is a good movement. He said, I can service this easily. That's what he they're said cheap, to me. They're, they're, they're cheap to fix, they don't hardly ever break. And um, yeah, they're, they're very good. Uh, watchmakers love them, you know that, don't you? And they're cased up in some nice watches. Breitling has used a bunch of them, although they went in house now. But there's a there's some nice watches with the 7750. Oh, look at that Tudor Ranger, that is fucking sexy. Fucking sexy. It's like Explorer Dial. It's got the rose. How could you fucking not like that? And you know something too? You notice because it's got the ETA movement, it's got the writing, self-winding, is like the smiley face, like the Black Bays were before they went in-house. I was about to say, though, can, can there, can't you get a Black Bay for almost the same price? <coughs> well, it depends what you like. Yeah, you can get a Black Bay for around the same money. That's true. Can do. But I, I think it depends on what you like. The, the Ranger is fucking sexy. They are sexy. They've always been sexy. I think I'd go Black Bay. The Black Bay is a bit more girthier, but you got to remember that. I've got a Black Bay. They're quite, quite a big watch. If you're not a big guy, I don't know if you can pull it off as easy. Wait, the Ranger could work closer. The Ranger it comes closer to it. Archie, have you ever, Archie, have you ever had a Tudor Ranger? 
Hey, Paul. I had a vintage one. I had a vintage one. A vintage two. Okay, well then it's definitely no. No. New, 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 new. Guys, I mean, the thing is, I mean, I gotta go. Okay, Doc. Oh, kisses. Kisses, Doc, and. Uh, d Maybe next week. You can always trade it in on another Porsche, okay, Doc? I'm coming. I'm coming back for ne I'm coming back for a Porsche eventually. But okay. you will all you will always have owned a Salida. <laughs> no worries. Bye guys. See you later. Wow. It's getting late. You guys are tired. Clive's looking a bit tired. I haven't released him of his duties. You okay, Clive? You look a bit tired. No, no, no. It's just I'm I'm just looking at the time constantly because I love my watch. Oh. You know, Archie, I bought, I just went outside and I picked yeah. up a pizza. Oh, wow. <laughs> hey, what for flavor? Okay. Put it on the screen. A, uh, a Sicilian pizza. Oh, that looks amazing. How much was and that? Where's it going to? Uh, no, I just went across the street to Nukes. Shit, that's fantastic. It's a, it's a, uh, the Mississippi version of the beef and reef. Ah, so cool. I can smell it almost. <laughs> You're gonna, don't, don't eat your computer. Could I have a slice by any chance? Yes, just wait a couple months in the mail and uh, it'll, it'll get Okay. Okay. No, Please if you want don't to wait for us. Eat up. Eat up, Gene. If you want to don't wait for us. Eat up. Please, Gene. Now, if you want to see Archie, <laughs> if you want to see Archie eat a four-month-old slice of pizza, please super chat $20 and be prepared to wait four months. Yes. Archie looks you gotta, you, you gotta pick up the pieces. Jin, you gotta pick the whole fucking thing up and shovel it in. That's not you're gonna come no, on, I'm, man. I'm, I'm I'm a human being, not a minotaur. Means of production says, let me get my wallet. <laughs> Andrew Ross says sometimes Archie turns into Dame Edna when you've had enough beer. I think it's the glasses, quite frankly. It's totally the glasses. Okay, so what else are we doing? Who's got so okay? What it's like, uh, what is it, Sunday morning there? Yep, Sunday morning in Australia, it's 10 40, but that's fine, guys. We can cut it. That, that's a wonderful live show. Thank you so much for appearing on the uh, channel. I, I was just gonna ask real quick so, what are your plans for tomorrow? I'm seeing the doctor, 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 give me the flu. I'm seeing my South African die. South African? Yeah, he's a South African doctor. No bullshit, these South Africans. They're very cool. They're very cool. He's going to, yeah, it's all cool. In, in Australia? Yeah, 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 yeah. We get a lot of South Africans here. Yeah, there's lots of ranchers. So they, um, they have lots of veterinar South African veterinarians. Yep. Uh -huh. You see what what's going to happen? Here? Let me. I've seen the procedure. When I was a kid. Uh, my my parent, my dad used to take me to the stockyards. What's going to happen is they're going to put you into try to get cattle prod and try to get into a long narrow cage, and they're going to put a bale of hay between like two widely spaced metal bars, and then when you and stick your head through, yeah, exactly. And when you stick your head through. They're gonna the metal bars on pivots and they're gonna trap you like like this. So you won't be able to move your head. But you will still be able to move your head. Yeah, well exactly, yeah. Then two cowboys will come up with like the biggest bolt cutters you've ever seen and just lob them right off. Chink. It'll be but, over in like minutes. Address, and then they're gonna address your horns. <laughs> Then they're going to now tell me this. What what should I wear if I'm going to see the doctor? Then they might ride you down Main Street if there's a parade or not. Yeah. Where 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 the tag lawyer? He will um, 
The doctor will be will go nice on oh, you. Once oh, oh. I was going to say, look, maybe you shouldn't get the. I'm really cons recon think you should reconsider the whole horn removal thing. Why is that? Well, I'm thinking about like vocational training while you're while you're, you know, on the inside. Does Australia have prison rodeos? No. Okay. Well, then fuck it. Get cut off. Well, wait. Okay. Can you sharpen them and use them for self defense? Uh, yeah, like a shank. <laughs> A shank. Yeah. yeah, a shank. Mm, very interesting. Yeah. All anyway, right. Any there. any closing? Do we wanna do we wanna stay on or do we wanna see if we can get anyone to see? <laughs> Someone says you should wear a shitter to match your pants during the process. <laughs> 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 okay, guys, let's way, wrap that, this baby up. By the way, that was Hotsey. <laughs> okay, I'm going to press stop now. Thank you so much. Next week, actually, when we try and do a midweek one. We'll do a midweek one, and we'll do, we'll be Friday and Saturday live with Clivers.